Now we've seen how a compiler such as GCC or G++, you know, um, translates source code files into assembly, right? And we've inspected that assembly. But there are a few more steps that have to happen before it produces an actual program or an application which is able to be run. So let's investigate that. Let's see, we have, you know, this, this program which just directly goes into main and then calls this function which is called foo. And this is uh, declared in this header file, right? And I include this header file in main.cpp, fair enough. But the actual implementation of foo, you see that in foo is not implemented in the header file. Header files don't implement the actual functions, right? So the actual implementation is provided in this another CPP file, right? So that's fair enough. So when I call foo, basically this should be happening, right? Um, and I have another s file which also includes foo.h and you know calls this function inside another function. Let us say it, it's just using this this foo header, basically. Now when I want to run it, I may want to do g++ main.cpp, right? But that gives me an undefined reference. What does that mean? Basically, I included foo.h. Why was that not enough? foo.h only gives the compiler the guarantee that this function is going to be implemented later on in the program. You do not need to implement this function before calling it. If it's implemented later, you know, the compiler will detect that and, you know, do everything fine, right? But right now, this is implemented in foo.cpp and this source code file is not compiled. The only compilation happening is for main.cpp. So no implementation is found by G++. G++ does not know and we haven't told G, G++ to look for the implementation in foo.cpp, right? We haven't. So how do we make it do that, right? So what we do is G++, first let us compile this main file into an object file, which is just, you know, translated assembly into binary. So to do that, I'll do minus C, which will produce an object file main.o. As you can see, main.o has been produced and I'll produce another object file, which is going to be um, from foo.cpp. So foo.o. Now this foo.o contains the implementation of this foo function, right? So basically what I need to do is, I need to tell GCC or G++ to use both of these object files to compile them into an executable. So now when I do foo.o, and main.o into um, minus output dot slash main dot exe. Now it compiles, works perfectly. What that meant was this header file is just, you know, a, is just a de declaration, it's not definition. In fact, I could have also done not included this at all and just done void foo that would have been enough you don't need header files header files are just a collection of definitions that you can use that's it the, the collection of declarations that you can use they don't actually guarantee they don't provide the implementations and they're just a guarantee to the compiler that the implementation is coming right so just search for it later on now who searches for those implementations right now, another doubt that you may ask is why don't we simply do this hash include, you know, foo.cpp. That way the implementation is also included in the file. You know, why, why not do that? So, of course, if I do main.cpp, it will compile. But why not do it? Because, you know, for example, another file is using it. You know, another source file of your program is using um, this, this function for some reason. And you want to compile both of them, right? And then when you do G++ bar.cpp and, you know, for example, main.cpp minus O main.exe, the output name, you will get a multiple definition. 
basically what happened is this definition got included both in this file and in this file and it encountered two definitions because include just paste these contents into your file right and so G++ encounters two definitions so we don't want that we are much better off with actually doing a header file and that's why header files are so convenient right now let us come to the fact who does this searching right so you know once the object files are compiled in this step when this bar and cp bar dot where is that? Yeah, foo.o and main.o are compiled into this executable. What is happening in here? So, what happens roughly is that in main.o, all that is written is that this function foo is going to be called. Right. And uh, then what will happen is that G will search for definitions of foo in all of these source files that have been provided as an input and if it finds one then it will figure out which code to call and insert that in the executable and this step is called the linking step it basically links this definition of foo this definition of foo to the reference of foo now the def now the reference has been defined before it was undefined and once it finds the, the implementation, it will link it and it becomes defined. Right? So that's what linking is in a nutshell. 